Well, we're just coming back from the train show in Cheyenne. Wow, what a journey. We've been messing around up there for just a few days, got yeah. caught in a blizzard on our way up yes. there. And, and it's just been, it's been an interesting adventure, yeah, it to put it mildly. But one of the weirdest things that happened and really, really neat things that happened is when we got to Cheyenne, we went over to see some guys that they said were doing live steam. So we right. go over there thinking, oh, you know, these guys are doing maybe some seven and a half inch gauge. Right. Oh no, it's this guy that I know from like a million years ago. Right. Who built, uh, rebuilt a Cagney steam engine as a shop project when he was in high school. Yeah. And he's been working on steam engines ever since. And now he's, he's like 50 and he's got his own shop and they're doing steam engines full-size honest to goodness steam engines in their shop over there and they do work for all these different railroads and they've become the the kings of uh, amusement park steam yes. railroads and yes. they do steam trains for a lot of the different amusement parks check this out this is just absolutely oh. fascinating well what took us to cheyenne was the depot days train show that they have there every year it's a pretty good train show. Yes, it is. After all, it's Cheyenne, and there's so much else going on, <laughs> right. you know, around Cheyenne. One of the things is this. They said this was the live steam guys. Okay. <laughs> and so we took the bus over there, and uh, there's a Cagney locomotive. Oh, wow. So these guys are called Wasatch Railroad Contractors. And they rebuild steam locomotives. Oh my, look at that. Now they mostly specialize in small, you know, amusement park size engines and most typically Cagneys. But look at this. This is a real live, honest to goodness, standard gauge locomotive. That's cute. That they're rebuilding. So they do just about everything. Apparently these guys started off over at the UP shops working on the massive engines over there mm. and just sort of branched off and opened up their own business over here. I don't think they're going to be rebuilding a big boy over here, but that doesn't stop them from rebuilding all kinds of locomotives. These are Cagney locomotives. They were built for amusement parks back in the 1800s. That's fun. Look at that. They're just gorgeous. They're really decorative. They're not really based on, you know, actual locomotives. They're their own unique little thing. I know this engine. Uh-huh. When suddenly I spotted an engine I recognize. Uh, a kid in Salt Lake, John Ramosh, rebuilt this thing in his high school shop class. And he was bringing it to the NMRA convention and so on. And it just blew everybody's mind that this kid would rebuild a steam engine in the metal shop. But he did. And rebuilding that engine got him a job at the Lagoon Amusement Park, working on their locomotives and keeping them running. And of course, he, he was an engineer. You're not going to pass up an opportunity to drive an engine, are you? But then he came to Cheyenne to work in the Union Pacific shops and opened this shop. This is his shop. And so now they're rebuilding steam engines here, like this brutal little beast here. They also are working on people's seven and a half inch gauge engines. If you want work done on that, they'll do it. And rebuilding full size engines. And they are certified boiler makers, so they can build boilers completely from scratch, which is what they're doing here, completely rebuilding a boiler for someone's locomotive. Karen's fitting a stay bolt here. This is kind of long for this location, but you can see how the stay bolts go into the firebox and hold that together. And they're rebuilding cars. One of the guys is rebuilding a passenger car for his own project. They've even got another facility somewhere where they rebuild cars. Here's a car project that they're doing. This is Rio Grande Caboose number 577. And this used to be on a bridge in Cimarron Canyon in the Black Canyon of the Gunnison in Colorado. <laughs> Karen and I went looking for that. What was it like? Oh, uh, a year ago a year or something, ago. yeah. And we get to, and it's gone. 
and I was all disappointed. It's like, whatever happened to the train? Well, it's been removed for restoration. And these guys are rebuilding the caboose. So it was cool to run into that. Seeing it like this, uh, you can see how absolutely deplorable the poor thing was sitting up on the bridge. You couldn't get anywhere near it when it was on the bridge, so you couldn't tell how just utterly dilapidated the poor thing was. But these guys are doing a full-blown uh, restoration on it. And pretty soon, both cars and the locomotive will be back on their bridge in Cimarron Canyon. And we will go visit it. Mm -hmm. And this is really amazing. Check this out. One of the old crew from 1893 nailed his dog's license to the end of the caboose. Hmm. Crazy. Probably the dog died, and just as a way of remembering his dog, he nailed up the license on the end of the caboose. Hmm. Well, that is just the coolest thing. I'm amazed. Wow. Oh, I'm stunned. Yeah. We wow. didn't. We didn't even know that was going on. I mean, we roll into Cheyenne mostly to check out the big boy because yeah. we've been invited out by the guys and, right. and to do the train show, and we're looking forward to all of that. And just mm. we hear about some guys doing live steam. It's like, well, that could be fun. Holy crap! Did not expect that. No. Didn't no. know about that, didn't expect that, didn't yeah. anticipate that. Nope. Just one of those wonderful, cool things that falls down out of the sky and right. lands on you. Right. That was just an adventure Amazing. and so much fun. Amazing. So much fun to see that. And I don't think uh, very many people know about these guys, no. except, you know, us now right. and, and you guys, right. because we told you all right. about it. Just absolutely incredible. Mm -hmm. Well, if you, if you haven't been over to the Toy Man Television channel, you want to pop on over there because there's 200 movies yes. over there, similar to this one, mm -hmm. uh, on trains and airplanes and automobiles and you name it, uh, it's over there. So you want to check out these other 200 movies that are there mm -hmm. and you want to subscribe to the channel. Oh, now, the way to subscribe is to click on the infamous blue button. Right. Are you ready for the blue button? <laughs> Boing. It's right here, right now. It says subscribe. You see it? Now, if you're not seeing it, it's because you're watching on some device that doesn't support it, which mm. some devices don't. Some don't. Click on that. Makes you a subscriber. Takes you to the channel. Well, we're not sure how you found this movie on the internet. We hope you didn't find it boring. And we will see you here again in one week with some more corny screwing around. <laughs> see you then. Bye-bye.